Hi folks, Derek from the Rangers Review here with your uh, daily news roundup on the 28th of March. Uh, a couple of Rangers stories you'll have seen hitting at the headlines uh, this morning. The first being relating to John Lundstrom. As we all know, he's out of contract at the end of the season. One of a number of players who are nearing the end of their current deals. Uh, and it's now emerged that Trabzonspor in Turkey are keen on signing him in the summertime. It was previously known that Trabzonspor were keen to make Borna Barisic one of their first summer signings upon the expiry of his contract this summer. Uh, now, reports in Turkey claim that personal terms have already been agreed with the Croatian. Now, it has emerged that the Turkish outfit are up a swoop for both Barisic and John Lundstrom at the end of the season. A publication in Turkey claims that contact has been made over a potential switch uh, for the Scouser, who obviously just has months left of his current deal. Uh, the ex-Sheffield United man uh, has been relaxed when he's been quizzed uh, on his uh, current contract situation in recent press conferences. He has played an integral part in Philip Clement's uh, Rangers side. Clement has made no secret to the fact that he would like Lundstrom to remain part of his team moving forwards, but no agreement has yet been struck. So the player is free to discuss his future with any interested parties. Now, speaking last week, the former Rangers captain, Lee McCulloch, urged the club to extend his stay. He said, I think John's been arguably uh, Rangers' best outfield player. He's had a lot of stick, which you're going to get if you play for Rangers' end of. But the way he's been in the middle of the pitch, showing aggression, running, uh, nicking important goals, passing range, being good in the air, has been fantastic. He's got everything. I am not sure uh, he would be happy to be compared to me, but he can also play in a couple of different positions. He even played centre half a few times last season. But he gets what the club is all about, uh, which is the biggest thing for me. He loves playing for Rangers. I've spoken to him a few times, uh, and he's a really good, grounded boy. It makes a massive difference. John's got that mentality low where he loves to win, hates to get beat, and performs consistently week in, week out. He's been an easy target at times when he's actually been playing okay. But when he's on his game, he's one of the best. Personally, I'd love to see him stay but I don't know if that will happen. His contract is up at the end of the season, but I think he's been good enough to say you should try to keep a hold of him. That's only my opinion, though. That's down to the powers that be. But he gets the demands of the fans, so for me, it would be good to keep hold of him. So that is what uh, Lee McCulloch uh, had to say on John Lundstrom and his contract situation. Let us know in the comments, folks. Uh, would you like to see John extend his stay at Rangers? Or perhaps is it time for him to move on? Uh, he would be moving on on a Bosman, of course, which is how he came to Rangers originally from the Blades uh, a few seasons ago. The other story you may have seen uh, in the news uh, this morning was on Scott Wright. His long-term future will be elsewhere, and the winger has failed to take his chances to shine. Now, that is according to the former Rangers midfielder, Derek Ferguson. Wright has been at Ibrox since uh, Steven Gerrard added him to the squad uh, in January 2021, signing from Aberdeen. He has started numerous big games over the course of the last few seasons, uh, including that Europa League final in Seville. But Ferguson doesn't think he's done enough to make himself a cornerstone of Clement's Rangers restructure next term. Uh, speaking online to Ibrox News, he said it was a strong performance against Benfica. I think Scott, for me, has been better coming off the bench. But with the injury crisis, if you want to call it that, at Rangers at the moment, the manager had no other option but to play him. He's always one of those players who, where you think that he's capable of producing the goods at that level. And at times in that game, he did do that. But the overall package, I don't think he's done himself any favours over the course of the last four or five seasons. In terms of whether he's going to have a long-term commitment to Rangers, I don't think so. I think Philip Clement will be looking to freshen it up quite considerably during the summer break. So as well as Scott's done, uh, and you've got to remember he's won a few medals being at Rangers, been very successful, not played a hell of a lot, but at times he's been important coming off the bench. 
but I don't think he's got a big future at Rangers. So that is what Derek Ferguson thinks about Scott Wright. Uh, is he one of a number of players that could be heading for the exit door at Ibrox in the summer? Of course, ironically, he could have been playing in Turkey this season for uh, Pendik Sport, who are struggling at the uh, bottom end of the Turkish division, but that move fell through last summer. He has contributed, of course, and as uh, Ferguson said there, against Benfica recently. I'm sure he'll have uh, uh, a contribution to make between now and the end of the season, but uh, is the time now to, uh, nearing where Scott Wright departs at the club? Let us know in the comments, folks. Uh, and we'll finish off with this. You may have seen this uh, a couple of days ago. The uh, WWE wrestler and Rangers fan, Drew McIntyre, uh, branded Gareth Southgate a bloody idiot after leaving Jack but Butland out of the England squad. Uh, despite a lot of speculation at the time that he would be uh, recalled to the international fold, he was left out of the initial squad in favour of Sam Johnston, Aaron Ramsdale and Jordan Pickford. Uh, then when Johnston was ruled out through injury, Burnley's James Trafford was added to the squad as opposed to Butland. Uh, now, uh, McIntyre, speaking on the Lats Football podcast, said <laughs> about England, they're idiots for leaving him out the squad. He is, along with the captain, uh, Tav, our best player. We've been searching for such a long time to replace Alan McGregor in goal. We tried multiple keepers and then had to bring McGregor back. But finally, with Butland, he is the man. He's absolutely on fire. He is, as I say, probably our best player along with Tav. To leave him out the squad, you're just an idiot. Simple as that. You're a bloody idiot uh, from Drew McIntyre is what he said. Uh, and then further on Butland, he said, he's amazing. I'm blown away by how amazing he's been for us. The whole team right now has so much momentum in the league. We have got a game in hand and we're going to get it done. And Butland is a big reason that we have got all this momentum. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it was a bit of a surprise that uh, Jack Butland wasn't recalled to that England squad given his performances of uh, with Rangers uh, this season. Uh, but uh, it's their loss at the end uh, of the day. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a big part to play Jack in the Rangers side between now and the end of the season. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Rangers news, uh, you know what to do. Be sure to subscribe to the Rangers Review YouTube channel uh, and make sure you check out the Rangers Review website. Brilliant article on there today on Serial Dessers. Joshua has examined his uh, goal-scoring stats uh, and they, they make uh, him the best uh, converter in the Scottish Premiership uh, since Philip Clement arrived at Rangers. Uh, but do the stats uh, deceive the eye test, perhaps? Uh, you can let us know, but I'd urge you to go and check that uh, article out over at rangersreview.co.uk. Right, folks, uh, we'll be back again tomorrow for the morning briefing. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Bye for now.